um, I was really early in my career and was working for a small company that was doing some consulting with, with European firms looking to get established in the US, small medical device companies. And the question came up, well, we think we have to do something with the FDA for these things. Paul, Paul why don't you go look into it? And, and hence my career began um, way back when. It was just kind of one of these really happenstance type, type issues where I, I had an opportunity that presented itself. Uh, turned out I was pretty good at it and I really enjoyed it. Um, first introduced to raps, I mean, way, way back when at, at this point in time, um, trying to figure out, again, I was early in my career and figuring out how do I grow myself? How do I develop um, depth and breadth of knowledge in this profession that I'm starting to get involved in. And so as I started looking, I started exploring um, and RAPS quickly kind of bubbled to the top there. Um, started availing myself of the various resources that the organization provides um, and just used it to really learn and develop earlier on in my career. And then as I've continued to progress, um, really finding a lot of value coming back to RAPS and continuing to be engaged, um, helping new people, helping people get back into this profession. Um, I'm seeing people here that I've been speaking to for the past few days who uh, have been in industry for quite some time, but maybe new to regulatory affairs. And so, you know, being able to help even uh, distinguished professionals already come into a new career path is really rewarding. So I lead the regulatory and clinical affairs teams for Carl Zeiss Meditech. Um, and I'm based in the D Dallas Fort Worth area with global offices. We have our headquarters in Germany and our US headquarters are in California. So I kind of split the difference between those, those two areas. So which means that in the morning I'm on the phone with Germany and I'm on the phone with, with California into the evening and everyone else kind of, kind of in between. Um, typical day, you know, there, there really isn't much typical about any of our days, I think. Um, you know, what we've seen is there's, there's always fires that come up, you have your long-term projects that you're working toward, um, but then there's always new stuff that we see on, an, on a daily basis, which really keeps things interesting and exciting. Um, so for someone looking to get into regulatory, I would say get engaged, take the time to talk to people, have an understanding of, of what the job really looks like, right? So um, it's not just being the police, so to say, on everyone, right? And, and the real regulatory success comes when we're able to act as strategic partners with our businesses. So that's kind of how you want to really project your career and, and think about how are you partnering with your R&D teams? How are you partnering with your, your marketing teams, your sales teams even? What do they need to be able to say and do with their product? Help them strategize, help them come up with things. And that helps you really develop your regulatory career, get into regulatory affairs and ultimately be successful.